You know something's not right when the first thing that comes to mind as soon as your eyes open in the morning is... Oh, sh <sighs> Here we go again. And there's this echo coming from inside my body. In between my ribs, I can still feel the roots of flowers where a garden used to live. Dramatic, I know, but how else do you expect me to cope with my pain in ways other than aesthetically pleasing poetry? Breakfast, for me, consists of barbecue chips and water. My dieting habits are bad, I know, but it's more than that. I sit in the back of classrooms out of fear that at some point the professor might look towards me, glance at me too long, and I'll melt right into the wall. Maybe I'll just skip the rest of my classes today. But if I do that, I know I'll spend all day lying on the couch as if I were stuck to it like Velcro, as if my skin was buttoned to the cushions. I don't want to live like this, believe me. It's just that I don't know how to tell anyone that it feels like my heart is drowning in gasoline. Lately, it seems as though the only friends I still have are in bottles of alcohol or psychiatric drugs. Everyone else is too busy being mad at me for not coming out or never texting back. My friends have labeled me as flaky, and I can't even argue with them. Tonight, I'll probably call off work. I'll tell them that I got sick, but really it's the fact that I feel like I can't smile today, like it would be a lie and everyone would know. I want to get help so bad, and I know I should, but I'm just like every other college kid who channels all their depression into memes and watching Rick and Morty. Two thirty four AM. Wow. Maybe today will be better. <laughs> <laughs>